I think it's going to be fun all the way until the machines kills us. And then we won't care, will we say? <laughs> as long as it doesn't take the fun of it, out of it. Is that a nose you draw on the blackboard for the for the finger to pick? Yeah, just for you. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I, I, I I thought about it before, but I didn't get it until you left this time. I had uh, several attempts at drawing that this evening, and it didn't matter how many times I tried to draw a nose on its own, it looked like a cock monster. <laughs> that was just, just looked like a nose monster. Yeah. <laughs> I think this knife along is the project where I had the most fun that's not related to the build at all. Like... Uh, Spending time photoshopping myself into the picture of Crocodile Dundee here. Yeah, there he is in his full glory. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Maybe I should print it out and put it up in my workshop. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't notice the knife in his hand before. <laughs> oh. I don't know. First thing I saw. That's that's really nice because here is the original. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, you did a lot of job work on that one. Yeah, the, the, I actually uh, I talked to the wife, uh, and she agreed on being photoshopped into the picture as well. So I was going to put my wife in there, but uh, she was away the evening that I did the photoshopping, and then uh, just tried removing that in Photoshop. And of course, the AI uh, image removal tool has become brilliantly. So I just uh, drew a circle around her and just. Uh, clicked remove and then uh, the if you see on the other picture with me there the left hand with whatever he's holding yeah, is just is auto generated from ai so that's okay, uh, okay. and it gave me like uh, three four alternatives and i flipped through and this is where the hand looks the most normal so i would have i would have taken it a step further if i was you and i would have put michelle's face on there or something <laughs> <laughs> that would have been hilarious <laughs> it's already hilarious <laughs> I mean those AI tools are I mean I, I just realized that I have that in the in my phone camera I take a picture and then oh do you want to erase some parts and then you just choo -choo 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 -choo, and they're gone and that feels yeah. like bloody magic it, it feels like cheating I, I, don't, I don't like it but I think it's, I've done some work for some friends uh, where they had some old photographs of their grandparents or something and they asked to remove something in the background and you spend an entire evening uh, marking and cutting and then you're copying some trees in the background and doubling up and trying to smooth over the edges and it's really yeah. time consuming. And then a couple of years ago, they got this content aware tool that you just mark the area and you just press delete and it actually fills in based on the surrounding area. And that worked. That was like magic at that time. But I mean, the last year, uh, since I'm paying for a subscription of Photoshop, I also got the, the beta testing version available and they have now implemented this AI tool into the the production version as well so you can just mark mark an area and you can just press delete and it will auto generate a background and then of course it will give you several options so you can just uh, switch through them to see which one is the best and when you find the best you can iterate further on that or you can write in like uh, i want a dragon in the background and just mark a circle where you want it and it gives you various alternatives and it's I mean, making thumbnails has become ridiculously easy. I mean, you you can take a picture of whatever. And just uh, I want a tiger eating a ant here on a hill of uh, molten lava on the shop of a co-op. I mean, it's the limitations is whatever crazy idea you can think of, and the the biggest drawback is that of course half of the time I get like an error that uh, this uh, has a word in it that breach our community guidelines or something. So if you're trying uh, uh, to put a guillotine there, uh, no, we, we won't give you anything guillotine-like. So uh, Photoshop is really conservative there. So if you, if you want to be really creative, you have to 
use some other uh, tools. <laughs> I was trying some free versions out at the weekend and uh, they were just crap. Or I was just crap. Or both of us were just crap. It didn't work at all. Mm -hmm. The thumbnails I was getting off that were rubbish. And, um, and uh, There I is a, a lot of the tools are still rubbish and so even the good ones it needs a bit of practice on writing the prompts and using it and i mean to get a good result in photoshop you need to have basic understanding of using photoshop uh, how that works to understand how it overlays with the ai so the really beautiful pictures out there are still heavily manipulated by the the guy or girl who's uh, actually doing the editing. So it's um... is AI handler uh, a future job? <laughs> Just to <laughs> wrangle and give it the correct prompts to actually make it do what you want. <laughs> there, it is actually um, some people now that that have that as a work, uh, but. I think that's a very temporary thing. I, I yeah. give it a year or two. The tools are so good that uh, if you know how to write uh, and you can imagine something in your head and combine those two, then the tool will be so brilliant that you don't need any expert in uh, like bridging the gap. So it, it's a bit sad. It takes a bit of the work out of it, but it's like anything else. I mean, it's progress, so it, it will open up some other possibilities that we probably don't see today. Yeah. As long as it doesn't take the fun of it, out of it. Um, just, I think it's going to be fun all the way until the machines kills us. So, so. <laughs> just enjoy the ride. <laughs> yeah. And then we won't care, will we say? <laughs> no. No, then it's... Uh... <laughs> What's the update for Maker Central? Anybody uh, made any more plans? Well, I bought the tickets. Uh, so uh, we now have the tickets for the the happening. We have the tickets for the hotel, the reservation for the hotel. And I now have the airplane tickets. And I also got a, 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 an email today. I did not know this because I used my uh, credit card for ordering the tickets for um, travel insurance. But it's the... It's the one that I got through a company deal. And I got an email that uh, this uh, travel won't be charged on your card before after the travel. So, all right. So uh, that's nice. So I, I could, I don't have to spend those money before May sometime. But uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> just postponing that. So. so when are you getting there? I, I'm actually, uh, we are arriving early on the 17th. And we are going again the 19th in the afternoon. I was looking into spending a day here or a day there, but I mean, the extra hotel night and there's really nothing to do anywhere for, uh, yeah, that's interesting enough. So I think we'll uh, just go in for the Maker Central and then leave again from Birmingham. Nice. Because yeah. I, I found some good airplane tickets that, we have to go to skip all, but it's like a one and a half hour wait. So that's enough for us to, to stroll to the next gate and get ourselves a snack. And yeah. of course, uh, for my eldest daughter, flying is still uh, an amazing event. So she's going to enjoy every part of it. So it's going to be nice. Skip all is an amazing airport as well. She'll love it. <laughs> yeah, unless you don't have to run from one end to another yeah, to, to reach your airplane to Australia, but uh, let's not uh, talk about that. <laughs> but it's got loads of those, um, the powered walkways, the travelators, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's So you, you can walk at 25 miles an hour at least. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can cry ourselves to get a uh, lift with one of those uh, cars. Oh, That'd yeah. Be nice. yeah. <laughs> That'd be great fun. <laughs> yeah, I should practice my limp. <laughs> so what are you up to for the rest of the week guys what are you making the video for the knife along is what I'm yeah. making well of course you'll have released it already by now KJ um, well uh, yeah, yeah by the time this uh, <laughs> this has aired yeah yeah, I was still on the main episode so you're late <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm a little bit stuck until the plane of thickness is um, fixed. 
Yeah, that's why you want a second pro project that you can jump like, between. But like can you... Um, <laughs> but this is the tabletop kind, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you... It got plastic covers on the side. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so if you're on the one side, I don't know which, maybe it doesn't even matter. You can drill a hole and you can put a hand crank on and you might not, uh, and then you have to disconnect the motor, uh, of course, to... Uh... And ask Michelle to turn it really, really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, darling, you, the... you can do it. <laughs> yeah, but you can have an axle extension on your treadmill so then Michelle yeah. can work out and you can then run... Uh, That's a good idea. Thickness there. Yeah. yeah, I like that idea. I'd see that video. Yeah. I like that you went hand crank first, knowing I've got a workshop full of tools that spin. <laughs> I just thought you needed the... <laughs> what are you trying to say? I've had too many Fat Tuesdays. <laughs> Every Tuesday is a Fat Tuesday. <laughs> Connecting a thread mill to the planer is a really good video, actually. Yeah, I'd give that a like. It's not a terrible idea. <laughs> I think cranking it would just chip away at it, wouldn't it? Hand cranking it. Yeah, you need you need some gearing there to get the speed up. Yeah. And some kind of flywheel to keep the momentum as well. Yeah. yeah. And then it starts to get really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cranking it and putting the wood through at boom, the same boom, time. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good sound effects, KJ. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased actually. <laughs> came out a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, it's no lightsaber, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> oh. but that is um, that is my plan for next week. I'm going to do some angle grinding, and I'm looking forward to it. I, um, of course, I need... Uh, I, got, I bought this uh, one section of uh, metal mesh, which is going to be uh, in the concrete table, and then I'm going to basically use that as well to put the heating cables to so i'm gonna have to cut that to size and of course the the squares is a bit large so i have to use some uh, steel wire in between to uh, make the opening smaller and uh, to attach the heating cable so that's gonna be my project for this week i think yeah nice yeah, and I didn't want to uh, make the form out of some decent uh, lumber. So I, I visited the lumber yard because they have like a, a cutoff bin uh, where they put, uh, if someone uh, gets a custom made uh, bench top or something, then uh, all the cutoffs they just put in a corner and you pay like $5 maximum for anything. So I just have to pop by there a couple of times this week to see if they have some decent plates I can use for the, the mold for the tabletop. Nice. So um, we've got some um, firewood and one of the logs, Michelle noticed it was a spalted log. And so she sort of put it to one side and banned me from burning it. <laughs> and I wondered if I could make a project for, for Valentine's Day, bearing in mind Valentine's Day is tomorrow, but she's not back <laughs> until... Thursday, but I thought it'd be a really interesting challenge to see if I could make a quick project from the log and get yeah. a video up for Val for the fifteenth, which is the day she's back. And I I I thought this was all really interesting because I came up with the title first. I thought I'd call it "Live Love Log." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's so tacky. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might, might, might I, give that a go. No promises, Michelle. Sorry if it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, Just tell me I cut it out. Yeah, we yeah. edited it out. <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> I, th I think we're going to enjoy uh, cake and some wine tomorrow. That's going to be our level at uh, Valentine's. It's, uh, I haven't planned ahead for making something, and I think uh, today is uh, cutting it close. <laughs> yeah. It always falls over half term, and uh, Michelle and my daughter always go away for half term, have a little mini holiday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I don't think we've spent a Valentine's Day together for a couple of years now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is just a made up holiday anyway. Oh yeah. More made up than the rest of them, at least. I mean, we we talked about it last week. Do you expect anything for Valentine's? No. Do you? No. So we just 
Skip it? Yeah. <laughs> so probably nothing. I mean, we I... had the weekend to ourselves just beforehand, so that was more than enough. <laughs> That's Is the that... same here. We we never celebrate anything of these uh, like made up. Uh, American holidays, but uh, after we got kids, it's like every opportunity to do like, oh, when we get the kids to bed, we're gonna pop a bottle of wine and just drop down on the couch and do nothing. So it's uh, so now we use every opportunity, and then of course Valentine's <laughs> lines read up with that. So. <laughs> every day is Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when the kids are asleep. <laughs> uh, it's been. I have nothing left. <laughs> oh, I have nothing left. Period. Um, it's been a crazy day, and we we have switched our schedule, so now we are alternating uh, as before. But now the one who is uh, putting not only one kid sleep but both kids, just to uh, like have at least one day off from uh, sleep duty, and of course today having a full like dead end day with meetings and meetings and meetings and then picking the kids up at kindergarten being home alone with them and then of course also having the full responsibility of getting both of them to sleep which happened like 10 minutes before the recording so it's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's rough are the kids still wired at bedtime do you have to calm them down or are they are they pretty good they are they're pretty good. I, I managed. I needed to open the car window today because the the youngest almost fell asleep on the way home, and that is a disaster. Yeah. If, she, yeah. if, she, if she gets two minutes of sleep, that uh, that is enough <laughs> until midnight. So I managed to keep them awake, but of course that means that they they were in a terrible mood. <laughs> and then, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, uh, and luckily I could just go to the living room and I'll make you pancakes and that that gives me some some leeway because they really love pancakes and then w- once they've had pancakes it's like all right go brush your teeth and then it's a struggle from there on end but they were really tired so they fell asleep quite fast but uh, of course it's a it's a struggle putting one to sleep while the other is roaming around freely in the house waiting for you to come and put her to bed and of course uh, that is boring to her. So then often she comes like, are you finished soon? And then like, <laughs> and they don't know how to whisper. So then of course, if the, uh, the first one hasn't fallen into deep sleep, she'll wake up again and huh, what happening? And then uh, we're back to square one. So yeah, it's fun. Yeah. I've tried to uh, putting both of them to sleep at the same time, just putting both in, each bed and is going between the rooms and seeing if they're <laughs> no i have to go now i have to go now have they fallen asleep yet no no so it's yeah from somebody who has a bit more experience i've got an interesting question for you what time what um, age do you think it is when that gets better and they stop messing about at bedtime <laughs> when they move out from my room. <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> when i go to university maybe yeah <laughs> I think that's probably the correct answer because my daughter at 13 is still dicking around at bedtime. <laughs> but I, I mean, at some point, I, I am willing to just like, fuck it. If you want to stay up until midnight, I, I don't care. But I'm going to yank you out of bed at seven in the morning because you need to go to school. And at some yeah. point, they need to realize that I need sleep at some point. But. If not, they it's don't. not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> it is, though. Because <laughs> they're horrible to you, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. That's that's why we have whiskey. No. Oh, nice. It's got to be tea, tea and whiskey. It's not all <laughs> that's you have in, That looks like a nice whiskey here, but in a Moomin mug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If someone asks, it's just, it's just tea. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually a discussion I had with my wife last night uh we have a few years ago i got four whiskey glasses but i I really don't like them i don't like the shape and i don't like the glass and they don't wash very well in the machine so we just realized well why don't we just throw them away so i did that today so it's um and i i'm not that 
I like whiskey, but as you can see, the, I mean, it's a, if it's in a mumming cup or a wooden <laughs> traveling cup or whatever, it's a, a cup is a cup, basically. As long as it's not straight from the bottle, it's style <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> smooth? So, mm, smooth. <laughs> I'm not at the point where I'm drinking from the bottle and... <laughs> Yeah, you kind of look been. like you are right now, mate. <laughs> yeah, feels like it. Oh, I I remember we had oh uh, me and a friend. Uh, it it was at university, and we decided that uh, we should like whiskey, but none of us did. And of course, we bought the cheapest <laughs> bottle we could, and we both realized that at some point we learned to like beer. We learned to like coffee. Uh, we both learned uh, to like snooze. So we just thought, well, it's cool to drink whiskey. And I mean, we can learn to like that, right? So we just bought a <laughs> bottle. So every time we went out, we started by, okay, we should at least finish one glass of whiskey. And it did not take as many weeks before we got <laughs> over that. And then whiskey was a thing. And then, of course... Both of us traveled a bit in our work, and uh, we ended up uh, buying a bottle of whiskey in the tax-free. And um, my friend got a hold of a whiskey. I think it was somewhere over 60%. And then we went to a party where one of his friends uh, was not a very big drinker, um, but he did like the odd whiskey every now and then. Uh, and he tried that bottle and he didn't realize how strong it was and he got so pissed uh, and at some point he just went into the bathroom and never came out again so when it got time to go out on the, the city we just wait we are one short and then uh, his girlfriend now wife uh, just knocked on the bathroom door are you okay honey no <laughs> so are you good to be alone? Yes. All right. We're going out. So <laughs> she just ditched him there. And then <laughs> several hours later, when we came back, uh, having a nush pill, and he was still in the bathroom. He's, uh, of course, been to the bedroom and got his duvet. So he's just laying in the fetal position in the bathroom. And his wife was just opening the door. And are you okay? Okay. <laughs> and then just closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's sympathy for you. Yeah. <laughs> No, I never, never been much for whiskey, and I never been much for learning to enjoy something. I mean, if I <laughs> if I grow to enjoy it, I grow to enjoy it. I'm not going to force myself to enjoy something. Well, no stay in power. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, bought a lovely whiskey glass probably about five six years ago from the mother-in-law, uh, Dartington Crystal. And that's a really, really nice shaped glass. It's not cup crystal. It's not horrible, old fashioned. It's just a really nice shaped glass for drinking whiskey. And if ever I get a nice bottle now, that's the uh, it's the glass of choice for the for the job. So it's that's for all, only for nice whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the problem. I think my uh, when we sold uh, my father's house after he passed away, uh, I think I ended up with some of the whiskey glasses in in crystal and so on. But uh, I just defaults. I have a a cheap basic glass, but I I like the shape of it and uh, probably cost two pound uh, at some yeah reclaim sh shop or whatever at some point but that's uh, that's my one glass and of course now i've gotten so attached to it that it's in my workshop so the kids don't break it so um, i have <laughs> i made one whiskey bottle holder on the wall for the workshop and then uh, the glass is just on top of that so uh, oh nice i really fancy the idea you were talking the other week about uh, somebody turning whiskey glasses and scorching the inside i really like that idea yeah, I like the idea, but not the turning part. <laughs> so, I mean, if I could get the shape of the glass uh, that I have on my one glass today, but that 
it wouldn't look good in oak, but taste-wise with the charred inside and so on that that might compensate for it yeah how far can you get with the cnc as far as you want (laughs) in making a glass (laughs) in the style of that well i I think if well you you can actually do it from both sides and get the taper as well but if you have the straight edges it's really easy you just need to uh, have a big chunk of wood and order some long uh, CNC bits that can go the entire depth of the the glass. But that is like if you take a mumming cup, that's sixty millimeters maybe. So yeah, that's it's easy. Can you get but, a, um, what's the biggest floor in the bit you can get? Biggest one I've got is forty mil for width, but it needs to be much bigger, doesn't it? I've seen yeah, bigger really than that, small, yeah. Small but I think the well, you sh- you sh- <laughs> you should do like Tim does. You should do the inside first, and then you should work <laughs> on the I- outside to get the thickness. Because I think if you if you have the outer dimensions of the glass ready, and then you use a Forstner bit, at least with oak, it's very yeah, easy to no. chip it. Yeah. Fair enough. I couldn't see another way of making one without a lathe, to be honest with you, with the tools I have. Well, I could do it like the... Um, no, that wouldn't work either. Yeah, it would. I could do it like I made the mallet and just cut it out in rings. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah that'd be doable. Yeah. Make Michelle a spalted uh, wood whiskey glass out of uh, the log. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Yeah. <sighs> so you're all better this week? Well, yeah, it's uh getting better by the day. Um not as much dry cough anymore, so it's yeah, feeling better as well. I just need to catch up on some sleep. But other Is than it- that, beautiful. Is it a wet, juicy coughs instead? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it was actually uh, going from a dry cough until it started, things starting to loosen up. And then there was a lot of wet coughs and phlegm and whatnot. But now it's, uh, it's dying down. So I think it's normalizing. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely image you get. Yeah, Just, I, can, uh... I, I can see on the face of Glenn that he had some imagery there. <laughs> snark and phlegm and yeah, all the nice words <laughs> does uh, anybody else have any medical conditions they'd like to discuss get it out of the way <laughs> how are you KJ <laughs> much better comparably yeah <laughs> so how was the train ride back from uh, your weekend off was it uh was it a downer or was it like you f- did you feel rested and ready to start the week again? Were you flying? Did you feel like you were defying gravity? <laughs> <laughs> it, it it felt like we were defying reason as in uh, everything went so smoothly. Uh, there were no no hiccups on the way. Everything was uh, was really great. So that felt really weird. I didn't really believe it that that we actually got away and uh, everything worked out and everyone was healthy and and, and the show was good and all, all that. So, but yeah, I would I would sure have liked uh, another weekend after the weekend. But do you have a direct train from uh, Stockholm to Göteborg? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. takes like three hours and a bit. So that's. That's, I mean, that's that's better than flying then because you have to get to the airport and then you have to be ahead of time and you have to wait and so on. So yeah, yeah, trains yeah. is the way to go, and it's I think it's like two stops on the way as as well. So it's it's really fast. Yeah. Fantastic. How long did, did you go away? When did you go away? Friday or no? We went uh, more or less lunchtime Saturday and uh, and left Gothenburg at the same time. Uh, on Sunday, 
So nice. we were away like 27 hours or something like that. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like you had a wicked time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <broom. laughs> I've been compiling a list. Uh, <laughs> I'm all out there. He's been, he's been saving that one for days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've only been thinking about it since yesterday morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I've got nothing left. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we end this week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs>